Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sajessi here and today we'll be looking at some of the guns in the War Z and how they fire. I have a group of the most common weapons with some rares in the mix. Once I end up getting more guns we'll make another video showing them as well. Just to let you know, some of the clips in these videos can be changed and some weapons can have up to 100 bullets. First, let's go through some of the pistols. This is a B93R and it holds 29mm special rounds in one clip. It's relatively effective at close range. Next we have a Sigsaw P226. It holds a maximum of 9 19mm rounds and is effective at close range. We also have a B92. It holds 9 9mm rounds and is reasonably effective at close range. Moving on to the shotguns, we have a Saiga. It uses 12 gauge shotgun shells and holds 8 rounds in a clip. It's substantial at close range. Next, we have a Mossberg 390. Also a shotgun, it uses 12 gauge shells and has an 8 round clip. Now moving on to the submachine gun and assault rifles. We're starting out with the MP5-10, it uses 10mm rounds and has a clip of 30 bullets. Unfortunately, I've never come across any ammo for this gun. The most common assault rifle I've come across is the M16, and it uses 45mm NATO rounds and is highly effective at close to medium range. Next is the AK-47M. This is an upgrade from the AK-47. It has an increased rate of fire and uses 39mm rounds and is accurate at medium range. Last for the assault rifles we have the M4 which uses 45mm rounds and is effective at medium and close range. Currently I only have one sniper rifle and it's a Mesa SP66. It uses the 308 Winchester ammo and holds 10 rounds in a clip. It's highly effective at long range. I'm still giving away 5 copies of the War Z. All you need to do to win is subscribe and I'll hand them out a day or two before the beta. That's all for this video and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what your favourite weapon is. I'll see you next time.